to another episode of Breaking Edge Outdoors. Uh, we're not going to be doing much today. Uh, we're going to go change a couple trail camera cards. Wow, well, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, the lighting's terrible. We're going to go change a couple uh, trail camera cards. Check those out. I haven't checked them for a couple weeks. Maybe if I hold this over here. Hey, there it is. Uh, if you can't tell, we're in the truck. Look, it's a truck. Uh, like I said, we're going to go check trail camera cards and do a little bit of trimming on my new stand that Patrick and I got set up uh, a week or two ago. I don't even remember now. Oh, and we're also going to get a uh, hoist rope set up on that. Really, this isn't going to make much of a video, but it's more of to make me take the camera and to carry the camera around and get more used to actually holding the camera. That way we can actually get more uh, more content out for you guys. Cause I know it's been slow, but hunting season's coming up. So hopefully that'll all pick back up. But for now, I'm going to shut this camera off because I've only got a half a battery and i got to drive anyway. And we'll pick you back up once we get out there. And then maybe after that, We'll go drive around and look for deer, even though my truck gets 12 and a half miles to the gallon. Guess $4 a gallon. Oh no! Oh well, we gotta do it. There's nothing, there's very few things in this world I like more than driving around and seeing deer. I just really like deer. Twelve and a half miles to the gallon. So we're not going to do a bunch of driving around, but do you know a few spots where you can drive around and see oodles and oodles and oodles of deer? Hopefully, I can find my binoculars too. I set them down someplace. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and drive. We'll be back with you here, and well, for you guys, it'll be half of an edit. So. Well, it's going to be kind of fun because I left my tripod at home. Holy smokes, that's dark. Let's come out here. Is this any better? That's a little bit better. Okay. Oh, I made it out here to my uh, my little bit of private ground that I've got. So we're going to run in. We're going to check those trail cameras. And i got to cut a limb off just above my stand. Probably should have went ahead and waited until I could have got Patrick back out here with me because it got some shooting lanes to trim. But for now, I just want to get that off. It all might look different here in a couple of weeks once we get the uh, leaves and everything off. But since we're going up in the stand, we are going to take our safety harness. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. Everybody has loved ones to go home to. You know, wife, husband, kids mom dad whatever it is has somebody to go home to and even at that what kids are going to do you shoot that big old buck fall out of the stand and then never even go get to go put your hands on him tie in pictures against me on this one we had a storm a couple weeks back let me get back down here Get on the trail here. <clears throat> we had a storm a couple weeks back for this trail right here. I mean, it's shooting. I can even see it on this tiny little screen. It's coming up here. Right here on this big brush pile. No, it's not a big brush pile. Right here on this little pile of stuff. This tree right here was actually, you know, here. It was laying down across right up here, which kind of changed the route. It started coming in here and walking down and around. Instead of following this trail on up to go out this way. And it's kind of hard to see it right between this little cedar and this other tree. 
that are coming in and out right in front of my uh, trail camera. But then that little tree fell and was diverting them coming down from that way. And it doesn't look like they've been using it now, but they're walking down through here, getting behind my camera. Just got down here, got over here by my new stand. And this big log was blocking this trail, laying it right across my new stand. Hmm. Oh well, let's go get that other card and we'll be right back. Okay, now that we're all tied in, we got a rope here. Attached to a harness. Ain't gonna go nowhere. As you can see, this right here, this needs to go. <laughs> you know, you'd think I'd have this stuff together before I uh, turn the camera on. Okay, what I've got here, it's a silky, I don't know how well we can see that. It's a silky F180 professional little handheld pull, or trim and saw. Works out great, fits in a pocket. Well, fits in my jeans pocket. Fits in a pack, it always goes with me. Whether I'm doing this, you know, only got to trim one time, or I'm getting in my climber. I mean, it, it cuts super fast. But we're gonna get this trimmed off of here, and then we'll show you around. All right, guys, we are up here, again, like I said, in my X-Duke, or my X-Stands, the Duke. It's a, uh, it says 20 foot to the, to the shooting rail. <sighs> Which I can't get down right now because my harness is in the way. It's probably going to get taken off anyway. <clears throat> I'm a bow hunter. I don't need a shooting reel. I'll probably do what I did with my uh, with the shooting rail on my big game that's oh down that way about 50 60 yards give or take I'll just take it off and hang it on the stand behind the seat but I'm gonna have to get rid of this but uh, you can see right here right where that stick is that's the trail that was coming up see it right there and well it's pretty thick but right in there's that secondary entrance uh, I might be able to zoom in that far no because it's not going to focus Yeah, just, just past that tree right there in the center of the screen is the second there, or the other entrance, the main one that they were using. So in the fall, shoot, I think I can even see my truck. Well, we're not going to be able to see it on camera. But from the fall, in the morning time, according to that trail camera, that's, oh, we can see the trail camera. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. According to that trail camera, they're coming through about 7.30 in the morning. Pretty frequently. And they're always coming, they're always going out to the big open field. <clears throat> and then they're coming back across and coming back in in the evening. Uh... This little cedar tree down here, that's another heavily used trail, and it runs, you know, up through that way, but it also, right around that little cedar tree, branches and then comes up this way. So, 
so that's what I'm going to be uh, that's what I'm going to be looking at I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you why I put the stand up here um, right now I'm on the, uh, the east side of the tree line which there's not a whole lot of tree line left another 20 25 yards and then I'm, I'm out of the out of the timber and my other stand is down well it's kind of in it's in the middle of the bottom but it's on the west side of the property and whenever we when we get winds out of the southeast in the fall I can hunt that stand because it carries my scent back across the creek over onto the neighbor's property which sorry guys but whenever it switches there towards the end of October and starts coming out of the southwest I can't hunt that stand because all the deer come from up here and last two years I had to sit down there in my stand and watch deer running back and forth across this hill and couldn't do anything about it I mean of course grunt your rattle whatever I did end up grunting in the eight pointer that I've got a home on the wall and brought him down there but I want to have a stand up here uh, there's a buck that I called dandy I was getting I got several pictures of him last year, but he was only a two-year-old buck, so he got a pass. If he was on public ground, I probably would have shot him. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little pickier on private. So anyway, uh, when Danny came in, I don't know why I keep flipping you guys around because you can't really see anything, but there's a, a mode trail. It used to be an old four-wheeler trail. At, doesn't really get used to that anymore. Maybe there's a squirrel up there. I don't know. I keep hearing stuff. Anyway, he came in, shot straight in on the corner, and then cut straight across this other trail, and then dropped down, you know, 30 yards from my stand down there. <clears throat> but I wanted to be up here where I could have got a better look at him. Because the bad thing about it is the wind had swirled right as he ended up coming down and he got I don't know 40 yards in the tree line and the wind swirled and he smelled me and boy did he blow and he was on high alert but if I was up here I don't know there's a good chance that he might have smelled me before he even got inside the timber I don't know but I'm hoping we'll just have to see what, what we can kind of see this does feel really, really open from the front. The thing about it is, if they do what they're supposed to do, they're going to cross. They're going to cross my trail 15 yards in front of me, and I've got really good back cover. I mean, could have been on a little bit bigger tree, but like even from the sides, and I won't, I won't trim all this. I do want to be able to shoot down down to that trail down there so I will have to do a little bit of trimming but I'm not going to do much and all this cluster mess right here I probably won't touch I mean there is a trail that comes in you know back down through here but I don't I can't tell how well it's been traveled I mean it, it's not used anywhere near as near as much as like this one right here in front of me is <sighs> yeah that's about it I know I did an awful lot of talking for a video that I said I wasn't going to do a whole lot of talking on does that get irritating? you guys get tired of hearing me talk? my kids get tired of hearing me talk <laughs> <coughs> being attacked alrighty well I might shut up and sit down here for a few minutes and just kind of kind of sit and enjoy the woods then we're gonna buggy home and check those cards if there's anything interesting I'll show you guys then we're in I haven't talked to wife about it yet we might go drive around and look for deer because that's but we'll get back with you guys here in a few shakes well the uh, trail cams didn't really pan out 
I uh, flipped through them real quick. All I had was a few does and fawns. So we're going to drive out around some public grounds that I hunt and see if we can't see any deer. And really, scouting from the roads about, it, it's not going to give you the best idea on where deer are, but it lets you get a general idea and then you're not disrupting deer, you're not disturbing deer, and you're not spreading any scent. So we're going to drive down some of these country roads around some of these public areas and if we see anything, we'll flip that camera back on. There's a couple does just popped out of a piece of public and got into some private beans. I forgot to give a time check. It's about 10 after 7. Just the two? Got the two little ones back there. Got this little guy right here by the road. Oh, he's scared. <laughs> There's one and off. Looks like winter when she's playful. <laughs> Over the hill. Oh, they run off. Yeah, they're over the hill. I saw their backs. Back, it. Well, we got through that spot. Drove down the road and seen a couple little bucks standing in some beans. Wasn't expecting to see deer right there. Turned around and tried to go get a little video of them. And of course, they took off. Oh, well, off to another spot. Well, we'll we're right here. We'll look to see if they're back up there. Yeah, they're just past this little waterway right here. I don't see them. Mm -mm. All right, well, I know a couple of the roads is usually loaded up full of deer, so we'll go check them out real quick, see what we can see. Bunch of slick heads. Couple little babies and a bunch of mature does. Well, there's four. There's four over here. Six. Yeah. Well, it's about 7.30, so we should really be seeing way more deer than what we actually are. Shoot, I've drove up and down this road and seen 100 deer, but I just checked my phone to see when sunset was, but I missed it for the hourly forecast. And there is rain that's supposed to be coming in, so maybe that's kind of keeping them held tight. But I don't know, we'll keep driving.
right side. I bet you will see something up in this corner. <clears throat> Well, it's about a quarter till eight and it's dark. We wanted to go hit another spot or two, but I don't think we're gonna have the camera light. So we're gonna go ahead and close the video out here. So if you can do us a favor and like, comment, subscribe, bring a little bell notification. We'll get back out here and get some more content for you guys. Until then, thanks for watching.